Welcome guys to Daily Commitment, where we do just a little bit of exercise, but we exercise every day. It's actually turning into like a medium amount of exercise. Check out the shorts for some of the walking that we've been doing, adding to exercises. But today, it's dip day. I'm a little worried. I had a little extra soreness. I was doing my push-ups yesterday as part of Primal Moon today, and I was really happy to get 10 of them during these burpees I was doing, but I was really like like flagging, like like sagging, like lagging. Like I wasn't getting good push-ups. I was barely making it to 10 doing the burpees. And of course, normally my max on push-ups is a little higher than 10. So that was a little weird. So we'll see, guys. We'll see how we feel. Uses some of the same muscles here for the, uh, the dips. But we'll just see, man. We're going to find out. We're going to do our dips, and we'll do as many as we can. Uh, we are using this lighter weight band, so we're getting closer to doing dips with no resistance band. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. Let's get everything set up. We got our paint can here to make sure we uh, get a good first rep, and then our feet can go down a little more, a little lower on the next one. Okay, let's see how we feel. Ready? Ready? Get all set. One. Oh. Ooh, oh yeah, 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 I'm burned out. Here we go, let's do three. Three, oh, let's do four, we got four. Oh, four, oh, all the way up. We did it, guys, we did it. Those were good reps, but I was burned out to start with. I could feel that uh, tiredness in my muscles. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we don't do uh, Probably, I don't know, we're going to have to be careful with our chest exercises on our uh, fun day or our primal movement day because we want to make sure that we don't overwork them. We want to make sure that we're going to get a full rest for these dips next time. So we're going to focus on that next time. Maybe not do those burpees on primal movement day because I really want to get these dips. I want to do them without the assistance band there. And I'm getting close. Like, I could feel the soreness. Like, these muscles are already kind of tired. But let me tell you something. We did it. We did four. I felt like I was getting stronger as I went for some reason, even though I was tired of doing it. So I feel like this weight isn't too much, you know? If I can get four, four, and four today, that'd be amazing. Last time I didn't get four, four, and four. I think I stopped at like three. So we'll see, man. We'll see how it goes. Let's do this elephant walk so we get some time in between. We're elephant walking with our knees right here. Getting a good stretch all the way down here. Just like that. Good stretch all the way down, baby. All right, here we go. A little more, a little more. Let's do it, man. Let's stretch it. Let's elephant walk, guys. Let's elephant walk. Really feeling good about the elephant walk stretch. And a little more time, too, to make sure we have time there to make uh, let our muscles rest and get a good next set here. Let's come up. Let's do our gladiator stretch here. Here we go, this guy. Notice we're only focusing on two stretches. There's a lot of different stretches you can do. But you do kind of have to focus, like, you try to, st I mean, I guess you don't, I don't know. The guys I watched said, pick a couple of them, so you can really work on the progress on a couple of, of key ones that you want to work on, and that's better, they said, than a more general approach, but maybe a more general approach would work for you, so, I don't know, man, as long as you're out there stretching every day, doing a little bit of exercise every day, maybe a little walking, right, you're doing pretty good. I mean... As long as you're doing a daily commitment of exercise, of any kind of exercise, stretching, walking, uh, push-ups, pull-ups, chin-ups, doesn't matter. As long as you're doing a little bit every day, you're building that habit of exercise. Once you build the habit of exercise, you can work on the variety of exercise, man. You can work on the form of your exercise. You can work on the weight of your exercise. But the key, the very first key for everything is the daily commitment. So if you make that commitment to yourself, Everything builds off of that. All right, let's do it. Let's do it guys. Let's do another set of dips Let's see if we get another four. We got four last time. They were kind of weird. They were a little slow, but we got them done Let's pull down with our resistance band I was actually thinking of going to the purple resistance band If we hadn't been able to get that four if we're having trouble getting four in that first set I would go to the purple band which is stronger and I try to go ahead and get four in these other sets But I was able to get all four so we're actually gonna move the paint can back just a little bit more uh, so yeah, so we're able to get that. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna see if we can get another four, man. Another four, man. Here we go. Through the resistance band, but through the back of it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Feeling good, feeling good. 
nice and tight. We're feeling good here. Feeling like you know we're good lined up there. Head in a good position. Ready one. Oh. All right. Ooh, I actually touched my feet to the ground on that one. Three, which is probably a little too low. Oh, three. Whatever. Oh, I did it again. I touched my feet to the ground. You don't have to go quite that low. But hey, I got some good shoulder mobility, so we pulled it off. We got four. The rest left wrist was giving just a little bit. I'm gonna have to make sure that's lined up a little better in the next one. But I'm gonna give that an A plus, dude. An A plus. So we're really getting a nice wear out on our muscles. And oh, this is a great stretch, by the way. Check this out, guys. Whew. That's just pulling me up. That feels great. Oh, what was I going to say? The other thing that's happening is we are uh, we're going to make sure we get a good rest next time. A really good rest in between. All right, let's do another elephant walk. Let's do another elephant walk, guys. Here we go. We're going to stay straight. We're going to come down as far as we can, as far as we can straight. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. That's, that's pretty good for the straight part of it. I really feel strong there. Really feel good. Now we're going to come down, let ourselves come down. Almost palms, not quite palms, but almost palms. It's weird. It's weird. It's like I made progress on this and the progress kind of slowed down. But it's okay. We're getting this stretch in every day. Not every day, but almost every day. Almost every day. Skip it on something like the primal movement day. I think I didn't do it last time. But this is great. I don't really need to elephant walk that fast. But we're just doing this every day almost. Multiple reps of it. Oh, there we go. See, there's the progress right there. Now I, I am touching palms almost. Knees are still a little bent, but that's okay. That's why we're elephant walking. We are making progress on this, guys. We are making progress. It's like my first elephant walk of the day doesn't go as far, but the second one, yeah. It's really good, guys. We're elephant walking. We're elephant walking. We're elephant walking. All right, a little bit more. We're just gonna hang for a second. I really want to get to the. I want to get to the dips, man. I want to do the last set of dips. I got a buddy. We're gonna do so. We're gonna change out the oil on his car. I was helping him with it. Uh, it's one of these weird ones where you have to have a special tool. It's an Avalon, it's a Toyota Avalon. You have to have this special tool. It's a newer model year. So for the oil filter, you have this special tool that you have to have. So I, he had had one, but it was the wrong size. So I had to order one on Amazon. And uh, I'm going to meet him up at work, and we're going to get it done. Help him out a little bit there. All right, let's do the gladiator stretch. I kind of rushed the gladiator stretch last time. I keep bumping that thing. Ah. Anyway, the gladiator stretch is great, man. It's pulling these shoulders back. I'm trying to make sure I get the head back with the shoulders or the head up with the shoulders so we get that good posture coming around like that. See the good posture there. I've been working on the good posture in the walks, too. I've been doing this thing. you got to make sure you swing your arms. Because sometimes you can pull your shoulders back, but you can pull them too far back. That's not good either. You want that neutral position. So swing your arms. Make sure that you're in a good flowing position. Again, this is primal movement, right? goes back to the primal movement. Your hips working with your shoulders. This, this cross-court movement, I guess you could call it. Anyway, let's do one more gladiator stretch here. Thinking about that good posture. Thinking about that good posture. Turn your head to make sure. Turn your head is kind of like the... Uh, the swing in your shoulders. You're making sure you're not holding your neck in this weird position that can't even turn, right? You should be able to have that fluid motion with your neck. Anyway, anyway, guys, come on, man. We've waited long enough. It's time to do that last set. Let's do that last set and to wrap up this bit today's daily commitment. I'm definitely burned out, but that's what I was looking for. Feeling good. Feeling good. Let's see if we can get four more, baby. Four more. All right, so feet in there. Four more, guys. Four more. Here we go. Right there. Right there. Ugh, arms through. We got one ring. We got two rings. All right. Here we go. So we're going to get four. Ready, guys? Head in a good position. Arms. This guy, make sure that wrist is straight here. I think I'm going to bend it a little bit. I want to be against these guys like this. I don't know if you can see the rings real good there. All right, guys. Here we go. Four more. Ready? Let's see if we can get four more. Ready? One. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Three. All the way up. Now, when we do number four here, we're going to go number four. Four. Then we're going to hold.
hold it. We're just going to hold it for a little bit. This is our last one. We're going to burn out a little bit. I'm just going to hold this bad boy. I'm tire my muscles out. Tire them out. Tire them out. Tire them out. Hold it up there. Hold it up there. And now I'm going to very slowly gonna come down. Down, down. Whew. Oh, we did it, guys. That was a great set. This is a great 444 soon, guys. We won't even need this resistance band, guys. And we'll just be doing these ring dips with no uh, no assistance. Anyway, keep it up, guys. Keep up that little bit every day. A little bit every day adds up to a lot. I don't know if Brody or um, my buddy Stuart made it as far, but I was just talking to him last night. Uh, I think they caught a couple of videos. So either right way, guys, keep it up a little every day. Adds up to a lot. We'll see you guys next time right here, Daily Commitment. Peace out, guys. See you next time.